Hi, say hello to our latest baby, Mouse Recorder, which records your repetitive actions for infinite playback. This is a main program user interface. Let's change some basic settings to make it more easy to use. So I switch to the settings and hotkeys. And here you can see that I defined two hotkeys to start and stop recording. I chose uh, F9. And for playback, I chose F10. Okay, because now you can minimize the user interface and control the application just by the hotkeys. I press F9 to start recording, which is indicated by a flashing mouse cursor icon in the red circle tray icon. Okay, now I, I make some weird mouse movements and click on Chrome. And I made some other weird mouse movements and you will see later why I do this. And then I enter a random text, a search query, made another strange mouse movements, click on Wikipedia, and click here, and then I click there to close Chrome again. Now I press F9 to stop the recording, and you also see that the mouse cursor stops blinking. And now I play back the macro I just recorded by pressing F10. Now it starts, and you probably already realized that it uh, removes any strange mouse movements. It streamlines them, which is very good for presentations. It performs the clicks as recorded. And now the macro is finished. The tray icon is your main hub to mouse recorder. So I right click on the tray icon and to edit the recording, I choose the corresponding option. And here you see the recorded actions. It's basically a sequence of individual actions like program changes, or window changes, sleep commands, mouse movements or mouse clicks, and text input. The background colors of the actions represent the current focus. So the blue colored actions are made in Explorer, which also includes the Windows desktop. And the green colored actions have been made in Google Chrome, as you can see here. You can remove individual actions by highlight them and pressing delete. And you can edit individual actions by double clicking them. So you can define the mouse positions and the length of the mouse movements. And if you switch to record and play, you can see that you can either play back the mouse path as the splines, as we just saw, or you can keep them as recorded. You can also customize the number of repetitions of the playback. You can also slow down or speed up the mouse macro. But the best thing is, as we are the maker of Phrase Express and Mouse Recorder, we designed Mouse Recorder to perfectly integrate and work together with Phrase Express. So if you recorded a macro, you can seamlessly transfer it to Phrase Express. Just click on File and Transfer, which triggers Phrase Express to create a new phrase with a macro. You can define an auto text or a hotkey for the macro, and you can organize it into your existing phrase folder structure. Here we go. If you click edit, you see the phrase we just created, consisting of mouse recorder specific macro functions. You can also create a new macro recording within Phrase Express. So just click the triangle at new phrase and select new macro recording. Phrase Express switches to mouse recorder and you can create a new recording. Okay, I stop the recording and if you close and if you close mouse recorder, you will be prompted to transfer the recording back to Phrase Express. Then you can enter an auto text. And there you go. The new recording has been added to Phrase Express.